हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट नाइन्टी थ्री ऑफ लारवा लाइन सीरीज इन विच वर गेटिंग दी मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वो विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी प्रोडक्ट डिटेल पेज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो दी वेंडर प्रोडक्ट्स वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दी वेंडर शॉप विद दी वेंडर प्रोडक्ट्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट इन दी अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू डिस्प्ले हियर दी वेंडर शॉप नेम इन केस दी प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन एडेड बाय दी वेंडर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ऐड दी लिंक हियर uh in the vendor shop name uh and that link will take the user to the vendor shop where we're going to show his all products okay so that thing we are going to do so first of all we're going to create the route okay so in web.php file we are going to create the route in which we are going to show all the vendor products so we are going to uh show here uh one route we're going to create one route to show all vendor products and that route name we are going to create the get route okay so get route and we can create uh, the uh, link like products okay uh, and after that uh, we will give the vendor id here okay it is the slug uh, some of my friends are saying that we can also define here slug yes they can do it but uh, we are doing the meaningful uh, name we are giving the name to the slug so that we can identify it in future we must know like uh, what parameter we are passing here okay if you are going to check here this web.php file and after one month you are not going to know that wh what parameter we are passing in this route because at that time uh, we may forgot our code okay so it is better that if we will display the uh, name instead of slug we are going to display the name of the slug okay so vendor id so after that uh, the new function that we are going to create under products controller and the name of the function we are going to define it like vendor listing okay so this function we are going to create in products controller so let's quickly create this function at the front of the products controller so after listing we are going to display here new function public function uh, vendor listing okay so in the uh, here uh, we will just get the vendor id we will not get any uh, data from the post method okay and first of all we are going to fetch the uh, vendor details vendor details are important to fetch here because we will also show some of the vendor information in the vendor uh, shop page okay so uh, so we need to get the vendor details okay uh so we are going to uh, make it like this vendor went get vendor details okay so either we can write here the query or we can create the common function so that we can easily get every time if any time we will require the vendor details then uh, this function we will call okay so we are going to create one function and we'll call that function here uh okay this uh, function we are going to create get vendor details okay i have already called it but not created uh, so we're going to create it here after this one we are going to create here public function get vendor details and this function we are going to call with the vendor id that we are getting vendor id okay so uh, we are going to get the uh, vendor details here uh, sorry Uh, i have done wrong uh, get uh, yeah it is fine get vendor details okay fine uh, so we are going to get here get vendor details so here we are going to get the vendor details see now uh, you can see that we are not required the complete vendor details we are just required the uh, specific details maybe okay uh, so it's up to us that which details we require okay if we require just a vendor shop name then uh, no uh, then we are not required to fetch the complete information okay if we require just vendor shop name then uh, i think uh, we can just create the new function get vendor shop name okay so we need to decide that what thing we can get so i think that we just require the vendor shop name so no other information is required to fetch get vendor shop name okay like we have also got it there here also we will put it but here we will put it with the function get vendor shop okay with the vendor id we will get the get vendor shop 
and here that we are going to get from the vendor model okay uh, here we will get the uh, shop name uh, so we will select so not from vendor uh, but vendor business details shop name is in the vendor business details select shop name and we are going to compare it where vendor id here it is dollar vendor id like this okay get vendor shop okay so uh, after getting the shop name here we can also like first query and that we are going to return so let's get vendor shop so here uh, we are going to check first of all that the shop name is coming or not okay uh, we can do it like this so that exactly shop name will return not like this it is in array so we can do it like this okay so when we refresh here then uh, sorry not here uh, but uh, that link that we have defined that new link products then uh, the id of the vendor that is uh, the ninth id i think yeah uh, nine id okay so vendors this one so here uh, we can see we need to attach the vendor model uh, okay so uh, here vendor listing uh, here we are required to add one vendor model here okay so yeah non static method so we need to add public static function okay so that this uh, 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 this function we can use anywhere in laravel so stack developers that is coming fine so we are getting the vendor shop here that is fine now we are going to get the vendor products okay so here we are going to get the get vendor products Okay. Here we are going to make it like vendor products product. Uh, so with brand in the same way like uh, we have done in the listing function. Here we can open this function. Here we can see uh, product with brand. Okay. And after that we are condition. Uh, then uh, status okay and then we are vendor id here dollar vendor id okay and we are status is one okay so this one uh, so after that we are required to fetch the paging as well vendor products dollar vendor products once again we need to define here the paginate okay 30 pagin 30 packs in one page we can show so first of all we are going to check here that the vendor products are coming here only one products yeah, we have added so far so it must come here so let's see i'm going to refresh and we'll see that product is coming fine okay one product is coming so that is fine i can remove and then we'll write the code or return view and we are going to add now uh, new listing page uh, front in inside front and then inside products then I'm going to define the page like vendor underscore listing in place of listing and we are going to return uh, these two arrays 
uh, one is the get vendor shop okay that is not an array but just the uh, uh, shop variable okay shop name and the second one is uh, that is uh, uh, also not an array but uh, we are getting the details here of the vendor products okay so this one vendor products this one uh, we need to return this one as well okay so now this one vendor is called listing page we need to make this page uh, we will just to, uh, replace uh, just sorry save this page as vendor underscore listing blade file as well okay we can use this code so first thing is instead of shop we are going to display uh, this uh, shop name that we are returning here uh, get shop name get vendor shop okay so this one everywhere so that uh, we can display the vendor shop everywhere the where shop is mentioned and here also we are we are displaying the breadcrumbs but here yeah here also uh, we can simply display the shop name okay so okay so here uh, we are not required to add the filter so we can remove the filters from this page okay it is not required we can comment the filters and we can even uh, remove the filters at all that we are not required okay like this sort by okay then we can uh, comment it right now maybe in future if we think that we can add some kind of filter then uh, we may able to add them as well we can able to make them dynamic as well but right now uh, we are going to disable like amazon is not showing any kind of filters even okay so we just uh, require to comment the filters okay so here in uh, yeah filter products is not required we are going to display in simple php okay we are not go going to use the ajax for this page so instead of ajax products listing i'm going to define here vendor products listing okay and instead of category products uh, we are getting it in vendor products okay so i'm going to replace it with vendor products okay here you can see vendor products and here get vendor shop uh, that is coming and this one is not required at all we can remove the unwanted code as well okay so now this one vendor product listing i'm going to open the ajax product listing and we'll update that file to the vendor product listing i'm going to mention here vendor product listing and here uh, we are going to replace it with the vendor products now we are going to check it once that what will happen now i'm going to refresh it uh, some issue is coming get vendor shop uh, is displaying some kind of error so let's see uh, get vendor shop undefined constant it is saying the get vendor shop uh, i think we have uh, some mistake somewhere uh, we can check here get vendor shop here okay dollar we have forgot to add the dollar here okay so that we, that is why issue is coming uh, now now we need to check once again and we'll ref uh, yeah now the issue with the url okay so url uh is also not required so we need to remove it if somewhere we are using it let's check uh, no not this one url url dollar url here we are using it but uh, uh, not anywhere else yeah only one place we are using it okay only here we are using that code we have already disabled and we need to see no this one it is showing somewhere else we need to check undefined variable dollar url uh, where we are getting this one we need to check here we need to debug Uh, so I got the uh, error here see 
uh, we have commented this one but we are not required to comment we need to add the php command instead of the html command we need to add the php uh, command otherwise uh, otherwise laravel is going to uh, see its code okay so we are going to refresh now see now it is working fine now you can see the product has been displayed uh, for stack developers with the stack developer shop okay uh, so you can uh, see here uh, like if we will go to inside this product and here you can see the sold by stack developers we are going to mention the link as well uh, okay so we will also mention here the link uh, okay uh, so uh, where it is uh, shop name so only the link is left so we are going to add its link as if Uh, so this is the link that we need to define uh, we need to mention here slash also and here just we require to mention here something uh, that is uh, that is the product details vendor id dollar product details this one vendor dollar product details vendor then vendor business details uh, no no that is not required id okay straight away id uh, yeah like this dollar product details vendor then its id vendor id okay this one like this then uh, we are going to close this one like this okay so we we'll want to check now we'll go to the detail page once again and here uh, you can see the link has appeared and now see if the user is going to assess this page is assessing this page and we'll see okay it is sold by this tag developer so we are going to check its information so i'm going to click on this one and then he can able to see all his products okay so if sometime in future we are going to define the uh, vendor relation or vendor details then we are going to define here only okay rating something four or five star here only or some other details also we are going to show in the one page along with the products okay so don't worry about that thing so here uh, see we able to fetch the uh, vendor shop name along with its products okay so you can add vendor can add as many products and his uh, shop will appear with the shop name here at the top okay so uh, i think you can try this one at your end so we will move further uh, with the detail page and we'll work on similar products and recently view as well and then move further with the card page okay so uh so do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet to get all the updates don't miss anything okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye